So part two continues. A part two commences. As I was saying about Judge T. Well, now back to where I was. Because this is how you do it. With what they are doing, they just, you know, making a fool out of you. And I'm not going to let them do that. Because what they do is making me look like I'm fake, a false prophet. And that's not the case here. As I said, I was saying, I'm hearing people saying that Trump is not proving his claims. Trump does not prove his claims in the public. That you can tell the people, and we have what's going on, but that's a legal call. That is for a judge to make the decision on whether or not Trump has evidence to support his claim. Now, when I was an inmate in the Texas prison system, we prisoners have what they say is a right from the Constitution of the United States, as well as a right from the Texas Constitution to sue to regain our freedom. Now, they tell us that naked allegations are insufficient to support relief. A prisoner must do more than make naked allegations. You must allege facts which, if are true, would entitle you to relief that you seek, which is be free from confinement. Now, on one hand, as Judge T made clear in one case that the court, shame on you, he said. On one hand, it imposes a duty on the inmate in order to get out of prison. He must allege facts which, if true, would entitle him to relief, being free from the judgment of conviction. But on the other hand, the very court that's telling the inmate this is what you need to do is depriving that same inmate of the record that establishes his claims to proof. Oh, do you see what's going on here? They're telling Trump that you can't prove voter fraud because you have no proof. How can you say that that was voter fraud and expect to be convincing when you're writing, when you speak? You need to back up your opinion with reasons and evidence. Nobody's going to believe that what you say is true just because you say it. You need to back up your opinion with reasons and evidence. Nobody's going to believe that what you say is true just because you say it. You need to build a sound, logical argument consisting of your opinion, reasons, and evidence. Evidence is any kind of specific information that you can use to back up a reason. Evidence may consist of facts, statistics, examples, quotation from experts, and incidents. Incidents? You mean incidents is evidence? Yeah. Says who? The Federal Rules of Criminal Procedure? The Federal Rules of Evidence, I meant to say. And the Federal Rules of... I want to hear that again. Because this is how you do it. So we have on the civil side, Federal Rules of Criminal Evidence. And... Uh, on this, slow it down. I'm just, I'm kind of angry that they're making you and to be, I'm upset that not only are they making me trying to be a false prophet, but they also making you look like a damn fool, an American, and I don't like that. So, you know, cause I already know they got nothing coming, but you know, they making you, the people look like damn fools, that's not right. So, uh, again, we got, our federal rules of evidence. We got the civil rules of evidence and we got the criminal rules of evidence. So federal judges make that call. And on the state level, they got the same rules and they pattern them, pattern them after the federal rules. Didn't you know? Okay, now that you now know, the rules of evidence determine whether or not Trump can prove his claim of voter fraud. Does that make sense? Rules do that. 
So when you in a litigation, you come in with a dispute. In order for a court to a federal court or even state court to rule in Trump's favor, Trump has alleged a violation of the United States Constitution itself or some federal law. Because federal courts do not sit as a court of appeals for state court cases. All right, this is how you do it. So now that you're following me, stop listening to what the media is telling you. Listen to what the Supreme Court is going to tell you in rendering his decision. You cannot tell Trump that uh, you claim that that was voter fraud, but you have not proved what you alleged. And on one hand and on the other hand, the pride Poll, okay, so let's leave Trump out of this. You had, we had poll workers people to monitor what they were doing because as you know, to be convincing, when you're writing, when you speak, you need to back up your opinion that you're not cheating Trump with reasons and evidence because nobody out here in society, unless they crazy and old, are going to believe what you say is true just because you say it. Rather, you need to build a sound logical argument consisting of your opinion, reasons, and evidence. Remember I told you that evidence is any kind of specific information that you can use to back up your claim. So I'm looking at all these videos on YouTube showing uh, Democrat states and conducting the, the election process in their uh, polling station covering windows. Bingo! That's voter fraud. You cannot cover your windows. But believe us, we're not doing you know that's not what the rules of evidence say. That's not what substantive due process says. That's not what uh, uh, due process says. We have two components of the uh, procedures and substantive due process. Then we also have in the 14th Amendment, as well as in the 5th Amendment, uh, well, no, this is in the 14th Amendment, we have we have a, a clause that uh, says that uh, all persons born in the United States, all persons born in the United States, are citizens of the United States and the states wherein they reside. Neither shall a state deprive any person of life, liberty, or property without due process of law, nor deny any person the equal protection of the law. You cannot deprive the voters. Uh, com campaign workers, uh, Trump team, you cannot deprive these people of rights that the Constitution, see, God gave us the rights. The Constitution recognizes that God gave us the right and protect those rights. So when we establish that, you wouldn't let us come into the polls and stay six feet apart from you and watch what you were doing. He lied on us. We did. No, he's not lying because we got videos to support what we say. That's voter fraud. Well, just because we wouldn't let you come in the polls and watch what we're doing, that doesn't mean that we was cheating. Yes, it does. But even if it didn't, you would still lose because you can't do that. The court would just reverse on the ground that that was conspiracy. Conspiracy, yes, Dan. If you don't know what conspiracy mean, Google Title 18 USC Section 241, and that was also a deprivation of civil rights. See Title 18 USC Section 242. So even if you say that was not voter fraud, which it was, you still lose because you cannot stop people from doing. From enjoying their God given all, you might, man, like to refer to them as fundamental rights. Man, you know, man. He don't want to say God given rights, he want to say fundamental rights and civil liberties and whatever that is. But these are God given, or as another word, unal unalienable rights. So, yes, uh, Trump cannot lose people. He's got six to three justices on the court that will vote. For him, well, for us, conservatively. So again, I, I guess I've said everything I wanted to say. You have nothing here. The Supreme Court 
is bound by law to take this case, case of national importance, and when it comes out that uh, we could not assume it blocking people from doing their monitoring you is not per se voter fraud, and you need to show instances that the names didn't match, you need to show this, you need to show that, then that's what we call, you can't say I have to prove my claim and and, uh, and put me in a catch-22. On one hand, you're saying that in order for me to prove my claim of voter fraud, I have to show the, uh, uh, the crimes that they were committing. And on the other hand, deprive me access from coming in to prove the very goddamn thing that you say I have to show, to prove, to prevail. Who, like Rudy Julius say, do you think we stupid? You can't do that. I just I just hope y'all get it. Quit being thinking that man is not man ain't going nowhere. Joe Biden's not Joe Biden won the money, but he cannot pick it up. And if he does, he's gonna run like hell. <laughs> he's gonna run like hell. So people, uh, if you don't understand what I'm saying, then I, I don't know what else to tell you. Trust me, I'm telling you, well, I'm not gonna ask you to trust me, just trust me, turn this off now, but you, I just wanna let you understand what's going on here. You, we don't, the Supreme, can't, the, the Supreme Court will not, oh, and did I talk about the other issue earlier about uh, the, United, the United States Constitution. Uh, the Constitution itself establishes uh, times when elections shall be held and so then we have our uh, federal law to uh, more and specifically uh, set the rules out of how to enable or enforce uh, and carry to execution the supreme uh, uh, the United States Constitution provision of it uh, Congress comes in and makes law that uh, more specifically, define uh, elections. Now, states, okay, and it, and, not, and then states uh, make their own laws, but uh, federal law controls when an election shall commence and when it shall end. And it's common knowledge that elections uh, commence on the uh, second, I think, Tuesday in November of. Uh, election years the second Tuesday so when it commences second Tuesday and it the vote counting stops when the polls close it didn't stop in Pennsylvania when the polls closed so what happened we had a Supreme Court to step in and not only uh, violate the court the justices they elected the Constitution of the state of Pennsylvania itself, the justice violating that by writing law. Justices don't write law, but they did. So that will get Pennsylvania votes for Biden thrown out because whatever, okay, whatever the votes were at the time, and they how they'll do it, they'll go back because they had a clock running out during the time that the uh, polls were open and those polls show Trump in the lead by hundreds of thousands of votes and when the polls close the Supreme Court is going to rule that whatever the votes were I'm telling you it, you know they might want to you know do it another way but it'll boil down to whatever the votes were if they don't just do something else but we don't want to drag this election I want to go and get it over with in time for in inaug inauguration but uh whatever the votes were at the time that uh the polls closed if Joe Biden got the most votes then they go to Joe Biden. If Trump got the most votes, they go to Trump. But all that uh, allowing, extending the uh, time that the polls can be open, that will not happen. That does not survive. Okay, so that did not interrupt the call. Thank you uh, for the software stopping people from calling you, interrupting your videos. But uh, so the Supreme Court uh, will. You know, did they go see that? Don't think they are deciding this case for Trump. They're not. They're just deciding that to the extent that the Supreme Court of Pennsylvania uh, ruled that people could cast ballots contrary to what the law was said by the legislature, that is void. 
That is void. That is void. That was void. They knew that they couldn't do that, but they wanted to get those ballots in there. So that's why they talk about transparency. They knew they knew it was gonna come to this. But I just surmise that Joe Biden wants civil war in the United States because George Soros wants it. They want to destroy the United States. They know doggone well they could not get Biden in, but they want Biden in because China wants him in because they own him. And like I've said that you got a man walking around with no money, but he has a suitcase and it has our nuclear codes. And he and the president, you know, if somebody launches a missile on us at us, then, the, you know, the president get, knows the codes. So when Biden, if, if Biden were to become president, damn fool, Biden would know the codes. He is he is owned by China. I, we, we've been telling you all that. Y'all just wouldn't listen. You wouldn't listen. Biden, oh, you're making naked allegations. Well, I'm not. I'm not because the evidence which I'll call evidence says he is. Now, since the beginning, Biden been bragging on uh, his aunt China, bragging on her. Everywhere you look, China is, let China, cause why would you be a, a second China's pussy, you Why would you do that, Joe Biden, if she didn't own you? She owns your son, she owns you, and once you, and she's probably got photos of Joe Biden. Now, now watch this here. If I was worried about Joe Biden being president, would I make this video? Cause he could come after me and have me, Fucked off. Come on, the United States, our military ain't. Do you come and ask? This is an insult to the United States for you people to think our military is that goddamn stupid. We know what Joe Biden, who Joe Biden, the military know what Joe Biden and done. We can't let Joe Biden get in because Joe Biden is, we got a man. China will invade us without even having to fire a single shot. China got damn near more people than the whole, uh, uh, in her country, than the whole planet, on the whole planet of the face of the earth. If China, if China gets our military, I get control of our national defense, we can't stop China? You think our military... Okay, see, this is how Republicans supposed to be on TV, like, excited and, and, and hammering like that, but yet they over there using words like irregularities. What the fuck that mean, irregular? Do you know word in irregular? <laughs> we probably can't even pronounce the word, but the, but notice the Democrats, they, 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 they don't use these kind of friendly ass words and and talk soft not new look people you think these motherfucking people finna let this shit happen y'all got to be crazy but it's not we don't give a damn about if trump lost that's fine we don't i mean hey he did a great job but that's not what's at stake here that's not what was, that's not what was at stake here. This is for the soul of the United States. We've been telling you, I had books, people. Oh, and I end the video with, why does the people keep calling me? That's, that is, that's dirty. If I'm not asking the phone, it means I don't want to be bothered. <sighs> I bet it's my mom. Oh, well, I better answer. Let me, let me, mm, let me pause the video. Okay. Hello? Hello? Boy. Yeah. Hello? Baby, I'm out here in the car recording and, uh, you know, I'm talking to you in the video, so I'll uh, be right there. Hold on. Okay? My wife, I thought maybe it was my mother. Uh, the phone didn't even, the screen did not even indicate that it was my wife calling me. She you know, wants to know where I'm at. I thought she heard me tell her I was gonna go make a videos. But uh, yeah, people, um, we, you know, okay, people, how can you not understand that you've been hearing George Bush, you heard George Bush Sr. talked about a new world order. You've been, you, I don't know, what have you been, oh boy, it's, how could you, see, I get, I've been the kind of person that, you know, they say, and so, look, if they say you are a conspiracy, conspiracy, theorist, conspiracy, theorist, yeah, don't be ashamed to be that, yes, I thought you knew that, but uh, anyway, y'all, uh, yeah, you, you, you don't take nothing for granted, in his farewell address, President Eisenhower spoke about the military industrial complex, uh, China will, you know, but anyway, uh, I don't need to go into all that. Uh, 
because I'm not here to educate you on, uh, I mean, like that, you could have been educated uh, in, in the school, uh, but when they take control over ABC, ABC News, CBS, NBC, remember when Trump, won, uh, when he decided to run, he said he was going to drain the swamp, and he told you he was an insider? Boy, you're not listening to what he was telling you, he's talking to them. And he put them on notice, he going to go out, come after them. And he's that means he's destroying. He he he's they 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 were like no we can't have that. So what are we gonna do? Okay, well that's what we're gonna we're gonna get the people to hate. Oh okay, people. When I was incarcerated, I got a hold to the communist China's constitution. I don't know how that happened. I got a hold to. The, const the communist constitution What they putting out there on the internet As their constitution is not the constitution the, the real constitution Their constitution says that In a nutshell That They they, they, they talk about I got the information how they take over A country That's what I got And I was putting it out there in screenshots Because Facebook would not allow me to Download a PDF and get it out there so you can see. But I wish I'd have never thrown it away. Then I can show you and you can see. Oh, this is the communist China's constitution. So in that communist constitution, they say the very first thing that they will do when Joe Biden get in office after they gain control over our national national security is kill Joe Biden, Kamala, all of them. That's what they constitution. I, I, and I, I don't do it. Put my hand on a Bible. That's not gonna help you believe me, huh? Well, yeah. They said that this is how they they will. They are the first one that they say they they will murder. But they say they have to uh, uh, give them what they give them so that they can accomplish their mission, which is to infiltrate into the United States and take over. They needed to get their people and their spies in. Get flooded them with money, uh, blackmail them, so that they can get control of our defenses, so that they can just simply invade us. I, how could you? Then the military knows this. They they know, and so that's why I mean, the, the military is not going to let Biden become president. That's not going to happen because they know. But see, the mil the military is not supposed to, you know. But I, the, hey, okay, so you making these na naked allegations? They're not naked allegations, people. I, I, again, I was exposed. I don't know how I got my hand on the communist China's constitution. I hate I threw it away when I got out of prison. I, after a few years, I threw it in the trash. They also said that this is how, and I was watching George Bush. I'm reading the constitution and I'm looking at Bush, hearing what Bush is doing. George Bush in 2004 on to 2006, I'm listening to Air America Radio and I'm reading what they saying, well, how you take over a country. And I'm listening to Air America Radio, uh, and so I'm free. Yes, yeah, y'all say freaking out. God damn. So they say that you, you lie, 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 lie. You get control of the all the uh, uh, national media, the internet. Get gain control of that. So they bought, they own ABC News, CBS, NBC, everything. They own it all. They own it all. So they put out what they want. So what they wanted to do after Trump said he was going to come after him and start doing the things that they don't want him doing, and he doing them anyway, he has to be stopped. He has to be stopped. So what they do, first, one thing, they use all, they exhausted all their, 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 the, the uh, tricks in their playbooks. So they got you thinking that Joe Biden is your, how the hell you going to vote for a man that can't even tell you how old he is? He don't know where, come on now, that's crazy. But you would do that because they got you hating Trump. You'll do anything to get rid of Trump. And the military's not gonna let that happen. So, I mean, I I, I just, you know, and I, I, I just, you know, don't like that, you know, you, you been played for a damn fool like that. So, hey, that's where we at. And back to the United States Supreme Court, they, the court, a single judge and maybe a majority, a quorum, three or four, I don't know how many members, but one justice is, uh, has the authority to issue the order. But that's an order 
issued saying that this, after he stated what it said, this order preserves the status quo until final order. These Supreme Court justices know, they know what the hell is going on. They see him cheating. <laughs> what you think the justices on the Supreme Court are, are crazy? They can see what the hell is going on. So, but then, then thank God that they can decide the law without having to just violate the law and give it to them. They don't have to, they, the cheating, they don't even know how to cheat. They thought, come on, man. They, so I don't, I, it just, I, I don't know why, we, I mean, if I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it and get away with it. If I tell a lie, I'm going to stick to that lie till I'm dead. I, 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 I don't, I, I, I don't understand how uh, DP, that, the plan what, that plan worked on the people. We got military intelligence. You're not fooling the the military. You're not fooling a lot of people. You're just fooling the mass, vast majority. And that's why uh, maybe that we will put in place uh, things where people have to, okay, to not only uh, 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 require legal um, age for voting, as we already have, but seem like, yeah, people going to have to. Uh, before they can cast a vote, show that they know what the issues are and how they impact everybody. Because you just going there and voting because uh, because they these people that got you thinking Trump is this and Trump is that, and your uh, you casting your vote based upon uh, 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 um, what with propaganda. So we about to lose the United States because of George Soros got billions of dollars to buy to buy them all. We gonna lose? Hell no! I'm not worried about uh, worried about George Soros and uh, what's his name, uh, Joe Biden. Joe Biden can win the money, but will he pick it up? But if he does, he will run like hell. When the military get up, man. Okay, well, okay. You just watch it. My, I guess my job as God's last prophet is to speak out ahead of it. They dumped this shit, this bull crap on you on the weekend. They knew the court is closed. You think them election officials that then gave Biden all these votes don't know what's going to happen when the Supreme Court opened up? Would you like a look, y'all? Y'all want to call a, a a woman? She deals with death penalty cases, emergency stays, and from the Supreme Court, call her direct number, Miss Silver on the United States Supreme Court. The court has Trump's petition now. I mean, I don't. She can give you the number. To contact uh, another a clerk, deputy clerk, that will tell you, no, 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 don't, don't buy into that. This, I, what did she can call? Okay, maybe. Okay, somebody can call. They see that's kind of that's that's disrespect to the Supreme Court too, for Joe Biden them for them to do that. And uh, start all this chaos because y'all gonna swear up and down that the Supreme Court stole this goddamn election from Joe Biden. But I'm telling you now, they told Joe Biden that this preserves the status quo. So Joe Biden posted, Joe Biden and his people know damn well the Supreme Court and told them this preserves the status quo of this. In other words, we, we, we. They, I didn't have them read the order, but it's enough where it says this preserves the status quo. So just you say until final order. I don't hear y'all coming out. Uh, the, Joe Biden coming out telling the Supreme Court gave us a temporary victor, victory until uh, final order. So I'm asking you all just for, so you so you can quit playing with yourself. Come on, Miss Silvers. Silvers, United States Supreme Court. She deals in death penalty cases. So you will be able to reach her. She will likely answer her phone. Miss Silvers, is this going to be on the S or M? Because my phone, I usually, you know, show respect by putting Miss Silvers. So it must be on the S, but still Miss Silvers. So I can give the number out. It's it's it's, it's it, it is not her person private number. It's a number from the court. Where is it? It's not this. Oh, okay, Miss Silvers. I don't want to call her, but I 
Yes, I would. And uh, see if I can get a, her to uh, answer and uh, call the clerk and let the, uh, somebody get you all to understand that Joe Biden is not vice president. I mean, uh, elect, president elect. See if she'll pick up. You know. <laughs> Today is Friday. I mean, today is Saturday. Uh, uh, okay, so, but somebody should pick, somebody should be picking up this phone. Maybe they don't want to answer because it's coming from me. But you call this number. The number is 202-863-1004. They'll pick up for you. And you ask them, does not the court, I mean, they, what you, look, have them to, from this number, have that her to tell you who asked her who should you call to determine because it's very important for you I'm sure uh, uh, who should you what who do you call to determine wh uh, what that order means that the, uh, the court has just it, uh, issued all oh, y'all out here celebrating and, and uh, the, the, he uh, and then these people I'm it, the reason why I'm saying something because I know I can already see you all gonna say that uh, the Supreme Court stole the election from Biden and gave it to Trump and this is what they want you they want you all to be so mad and then people start uh, Democrats start doing something to Republicans to we that type of shit now it mauls people from okay but if that was if we invaded by look people we don't do each other harm. We live in this country. We from this country. We can disagree on policy matters, but we don't. We can do so respectfully, and we. But we must get along, and that's why the military is is gonna keep art and peace. But they, you know, when things break out, they'll be right there quickly to stop it. But they want it to break out. I wish somebody, maybe somebody's already went out ahead of me and telling you all. Don't buy into that. Don't buy into that. Don't buy into that. This is not over until the Supreme Court disposes of these cases. Why the fuck do you think we got a court? You think I mean I'm I'm upset because I, it's like y'all. I don't hear. I didn't hear Biden, Miss Harris. And these the people on the on, on TV and uh, are telling you, well, wait a minute, just wait, hold on, because just because this state didn't declare Biden with these electoral votes, the Supreme Court come in and say that this, it overturned the Pennsylvania Supreme Court decision. Those electoral votes are gone. Does, does, does that make sense? The Supreme Court come in; they're going to because people look. Google the United States Supreme Court Constitution as it relates to elections. Google United States Code 